Hey guys, today we're going to talk about NFT. So, what is NFT? In essence, an NFT, or non-fungible token, is just a record that someone owns something. That record lives on the Ethereum blockchain, an ongoing, impossible to fake public ledger that shows everyone who's ever owned the thing in question. And NFTs aren't just small artworks, they can serve as contracts or tickets to events or memberships in clubs. And, in some cases, they're shockingly valuable. It's not unheard of for certain NFTs to run to six figures. And, uh, people spent around $20 billion buying and selling these things last year. But that's getting ahead of ourselves. What NFTs are, fundamentally, is that record of ownership, the thing that's owned is almost secondary. Take an example, we know that Apple makes millions of iPhones every year. So, in a sense iPhone is fungible or replaceable. Right? Now, what if I say that my iPhone is non-replaceable because it contains my photos, my family photos, and my notes? It's non-replaceable, right? So, how do NFT works? In principle, most NFT is based on Ethereum blockchain. I already made a video on the blockchain, if you have not watched it yet, check it out. The link is in the description. Now, what are the applications of NFT? Number 1 is digital art. Digital art is a common use case for NFTs. High-profile auctions of NFTs linked to digital art have received considerable public attention. The work entitled Merge by Artist Pack was the most expensive NFT, with an auction price of 91.8 million US dollars in every day, the first 5,000 days, by artist Mike Winkleman, known professionally as Beeple, the second most expensive at 69.3 million US dollars in 2021. Number 2 is Games. NFTs can represent in-game assets, such as digital plots of land. Some commentators describe these as being controlled by the user instead of the game developer. If they can be traded on third-party marketplaces without permission from the game developer. Number 3 is music. In February 2021, NFTs reportedly generated around 25 million US dollars in the music industry, with artists selling artwork and music as NFT tokens. On February 28, 2021, Electronic dance musician Blau sold a collection of 33 NFTs for a total of 11.7 million US dollars to commemorate the third anniversary of his Ultraviolet album. Now, let's discuss speculations. NFTs representing digital collectibles and artworks are speculative assets. Experts call the NFT buying surge an economic bubble, just like the dot-com bubble. In March 2021 Mike Winkleman called NFTs an irrational exuberance bubble. By mid-April 2021, demand subsided, causing prices to fall significantly. Financial theorist William J. Bernstein compared the NFT market to the 17th century tulip mania, saying any speculative bubble requires a technological advance for people to get excited about, with part of that enthusiasm coming from the extreme predictions being made about the product. Disadvantages of NFT. Number 1 is money laundering. NFTs, with other blockchain securities and with traditional art sales, can potentially be used for money laundering. Auction platforms for NFT sales often face regulatory pressure to comply with anti-money laundering legislation. Number 2 is plagiarism and fraud. There have been cases of artists having their work sold by others as an NFT, without permission. After a Chinese artist died in 2020, her identity was assumed by a fraudster and a number of her works became available for purchase as NFTs. Number 4 is environment concerns. NFT purchases and sales are enabled by the high energy usage, and consequent greenhouse gas emissions, associated with blockchain transactions. Though all forms of Ethereum transactions have an impact on the environment, the direct impact of transactions is also dependent upon the size of the Ethereum transaction. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.